Hi guys, it's Ingrid with Spa Treasures. I am making a new soap today in a different soap mold. I bought some new snowflake molds. So I'm making a soap that's called Frosted Snowdrop, I think is what it's called. Um, and it's just a little fun soap for the holidays. I'm not really big on making a bunch of holiday soaps, as you know. So I've already got all my clays, milk powders in there. And now I'm just adding my lye water. And I'm trying something different. Um, I put some sodium lactate in my lye water, which is supposed to help make it hard because the molds that I'm using are a little Mm, I guess you want to say kind of flimsy, so I'm not sure how fast it'll harden up. So we'll see how this works out. Okay. Alright, so let's get this into separate containers and then I'll add color. I've been trying to find a new camera, um, one where it allows me to see what you see so I'll know if it's in focus or I'll know if you can really see what I'm doing because this one I cannot see. like this camera I just got it last year it's a nice camera I just can't it's not good for videos I guess I want to say because I can't see what I'm doing so I don't see what you see This scent that I'm using, it says it has sandalwood and vanilla in it. Um, it doesn't seem like it's a very strong scent of either, to be honest. To me, it's not. It's a nice scent, but it's not strong on one way or another. So, okay, so let me get the color in. And this is just uh, titanium dioxide. It's just white. But I'm actually going to have to make a little bit more probably because I just remembered that I wanted to lighten up my blue with it. Let's see how this blue looks first, and then I'll determine if I want to lighten it up or not. Actually, I might not need to lighten it up. work out pretty well. Okay. So it's Sunday morning and I decided to go ahead and make this before I got out and ran the two errands this morning. So, 
get my fragrance. fragrance was really good. I think it's definitely a unisex scent, man or woman. Um, smells really good. I just don't really smell all the sandalwood. I do smell a little bit of the vanilla. Get that incorporated. These molds that I got are the cutest molds um, and I think they'll make a really good um, addition to like a gift set I might do over the holidays. I think I'm going to blend this just a little bit more, just a little bit more. of course. Ta-ta! Aren't they cute? Okay. So hopefully you can see everything pretty well. I've got six of these. They are so cute. So let's see. I normally don't do a bunch of decorative soaps. It's just not really my market. But I thought I would do these, see how they work. Um, plus, I really like the little snowflakes. Um, so I thought, I, whoops, that might be a little bit much in that one. So I thought I'd at least see how they work. If nothing else, I'll use them. was um, debating last year I offered a little 10 gift box um, I think it was like two soaps and a lotion or something like that for $20 or something like that $22 or something and it was really a good seller at my craft fair I actually sold quite a few on my um, website as well so I think if I can find those 10 boxes again this year. I might go ahead and do that again. We'll see. I do do gift bags or whatever through out the year where you can you know buy a large gift bag or a small gift bag or what have you. I do do that. So let me these to the side. Hold on just give me a minute. Okay. Alright, so um, yeah, so I do offer a gift bag throughout the year. I just don't offer the 10 boxes or anything like that.
I normally um, have gotten all of my stuff done by now for what I'm going to do, except for the 10 boxes or whatever holiday stuff. Um, and I think I'm pretty much done making soaps. I don't have a lot more to make. I'm restocking what I currently have. Um, I'm not really adding anything new this year for holiday or anything. Um, seems so crazy we're talking about a holiday and it's September and it's 90 degrees today. But it is what it is. starting to set up a little bit. Some of these might just be all blue. Let's see how that works. what I'll do with this one is I will swirl it again with the blue. It never ceases to amaze me that people will call as soon as I start making soap. I normally cut the ringer off in the kitchen so that if it rings, people don't hear it, but I forgot to do that, so I apologize. Hold on just a minute. Okay. Let's put just a little clean up any excess after they dry and I get them out of the mold. These look like they pretty much did okay on their own with the color so I'm going to leave them alone.
All right, guys, so there it is. This is called um, Frosted Snowdrop, and hope you can see it. Uh, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. So there you have it. Hopefully I can get them out the mold by tomorrow and then I will attach the cutting video or the unmolding video onto the back half of this. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you again soon. Okay guys, I'm back to unmold the uh, snowflake soap that I made yesterday. Um, I've already unmolded one of them and this is what it looks like. So that's the bottom of it, and then there's the top. So and it smells really good. It smells really clean. So let me unmold a few of them for you. They pretty much pop right out of the mold. So I'll let them sit. I haven't decided because I don't really have any packaging for them yet, as in how to wrap them up. Um, so I'm not really sure how I'm going to do that just yet. I'll figure it out at some point. Um, like I said, I might offer them in some gift sets this year um, for the holidays. Ooh. So that one. So they all came out really nice. Um, I might keep a few for myself. Who knows? Whoa. Um, I'm really pleased at how well they popped out of the mold, though. And there's some that was overflowed, um, like you can see right here. So I'll just kind of clean those up. Yeah, so that's it. It's, they came out really nice. It smells really good. They won't be ready until probably the middle of October or so. And by then I'll figure out how I'm going to package them. I might just kind of put them in um, perhaps some um, cellophane or something, kind of shrink wrap them type of thing. And um, that might work too. Now this one right here is damaged on the end. See that? So it'll be mine. I don't know how that happened, but it'll be all right. So I'll just keep it for myself. Yeah, they came out really nice. So anyway, just wanted to show you that. Thanks for watching and have a great day.